Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 30 gallon planted live air community tank. And what I am seeing today for the first time is a buried shrimp. This blue one right there. Can't really get a see, but that is that shrimp is buried. And we also have the funky skunk shrimp is out and about right here. Crippled tea of leaves in the way. Okay, here you can see it. It's like kind of like a clear body and has like a light brown stripe on its back, like a skunk. But I'm pretty psyched to see this one right here, that blue one. So we'll see if shrimplets can survive and grow up in a tank like this loaded with fish. I'm thinking that they will because there's all kinds of cover in here. I mean it's a really Thick, thick and jungly, all this java moss tangled in everywhere. Plus, I have a clump of java moss over up here, and Ricky fluitans. So there's lots of places for shrimp to hide and graze, so they'll be able to. Know, eat and grow without fish getting being able to get at them. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Get out laying on Tetra. Alright, here's a good look at the funky skunk shrimp. So I guess this one would be like a wild looking Neocaridina. And there's a red one on the intake sponge right here. Another red one right there. Another little red one right there. There goes a red one over here. So I just fed Rapashi. So the fish are eating here. So whenever I Feed them or pass you. There goes a red one. You can kind of see there's like dust particles floating around under a feed or pass you that you know it's basically made from like a, a powder. So little particles float all over. Check out this roseline shark. Gorgeous fish. I was just sitting here moments ago watching that fish, just admiring how good looking it is. And that's when I noticed 
the funky skunk shrimp was out and notice that buried blue one and it looks like where'd the blue one go I don't see the blue one but there's one of the brown chipmunks brownish I guess no color you know no real color There's a, a dark one right here. It's not the same one, is it? There it goes, and it kind of looks like that has a, a skunk stripe on it, too. Dark, dark blue with the skunk stripe. So I don't think I'm going to be adding any more shrimp to this tank. Initially I thought I would you know, I put in the first batch just to see what would happen. Figuring I would add some more coming, you know, to take out of my three and a half gallon neocardian shrimp tank, but I think based on just what I have in here, I'm gonna let them let what is already in here, just let them grow the population from where it is now without adding any more. And after seeing that very blue one, I was going to be adding a pea puffer to this tank. But I think I might, I still will, but I think I'm going to wait until I can see some shrimplets and see if they can grow. There it is right there, the buried one. And right in there somewhere there's a the dark one, yeah, right there. I haven't seen that red red and white really or Riley shrimp since I pointed that out in a recent video. The first time. I mean, I've probably seen this one. So I often see like a dark one in here, but I never noticed the um, the stripe on it. It's pretty crazy how all of these have all these funky variations. It's like I said before, these all were transferred into this tank from my three and a half gallon year Caradina shrimp tank, but I don't have the color variations any of the shrimp in there. Pretty cool. There's a narite snail. All right, well, that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies, and I enjoy shrimp. Thanks for watching.